Welcome back to GMSA at 9. We're live here off of Woodlawn Avenue on Martinez Creek. And just take a look at this, all this trash, the nonprofit River Aid San Antonio that focuses on keeping our community beautiful by cleaning up places like this one last year. They collected more than 118,000 pounds of trash, and this year they hope to collect more. This morning we have our friend Charles with us. Good morning. Tell us how last year went for you all. Oh, spectacularly. Uh, we were very hard at work, um, amounting to over 2,000 volunteer hours. Really consistent um, turnouts for our events. And at sites like this along the creek where you just saw styrofoam, plastic bottles. What you didn't see was a lot of bulk um, to get our number up to 118,000 for last year. The goal this year is what? We're shooting for 175,000 and we're doing that because we've taken over management of Basora Bash, a 29-year-old citywide cleanup in San Antonio and they're averaging about 20 tons a year. And that's happening next month. Yes ma'am, next month, February 17th um, from 9 to 12. And volunteers can go to basorabash.org to register for any of our 22 sites all over San Antonio. This morning here, we saw a lot of animals out here, and it's so sad to see all the trash around. Yeah, it, it's always a treat to see our wildlife down here, um, but it makes it a little bit more somber. Um, the Greenway really is the only natural area left in our city that's interconnected. This is how they're traversing. This is how they're living. So it's a pity to see their home um, tarnished like this. Well, I'm excited to share with everyone at home more about your organization that's coming up on the noon show. They have a new partnership with the city and I am excited to share that with you. We'll send it back to you for now. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.